Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us with Lost Odyssey on the Xbox 360. The last time, we made our way to the Ypsilon Mountains here, where we encountered some new enemies and learned about the guard condition, which basically means that uh, characters in the back take less damage due to the high HP for, for the front characters making a physical wall. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on the uh, magical spells, at least as far as I can tell. But anyways, Got ourselves all sorts of uh, good items here. Uh, a few things to go over here. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and use this uh, slot seed that we got here. Like I said, it gives the one of your immortals another slot. Uh, the thing about immortals is they can have a total of 30 slots maxed out. So that's including slot seeds are used on them and abilities like slot plus 3 or 5 or 15 or whatever you could max out at 30 no more so uh, there are going to be a total of four immortal party members just so you know and you're going to get a total of 48 slot seeds so that's enough for 12 slot seeds each now if you got the uh, seekers of the deep dlc dungeon that's the that's an additional 25 slot seeds but for now we're just going to worry about the original 48 so let's give this first one to Kaim here there we go and let's see for spells we got black magic level 2 last episode and I kind of glossed over it the ones you start out with are sleep puts enemies to sleep and prism which does random elemental damage to all enemies it I think I'm pretty sure it it doesn't just like do oh water on one and fire on the other. I think it just does a random like fire all or water all or whatever to the enemies. So it can be useful every once in a while, but for the most part, I'll probably just stick to the single targets. Unless there's just like a group of the same enemies, I'll just take a small chance to see if it works. But for the most part, I will stick to the single target stuff because we're gonna get uh, all versions of those eventually. Not for a while, but eventually. Let's see here. Um, oh yeah, off screen I went ahead and grinded up just a little bit here. It took me maybe 25-30 minutes. Basically what I did was I grinded up until everybody, or the two immortals at least, learned all the skills from the accessories that we have right here. And they also went ahead and learned all the skills that they could from Jansen. So this way I don't have to worry about any battles coming up because they're all set. Uh, also, around level 14, you'll start getting, or actually level 13, you'll start getting slightly less experience per battle. It was actually kind of weird. Um, at level 13, I was getting, it seemed like, three to five experience per battle fighting with uh, level 13 party members. And then when I got to level 14, it looked like they started giving me 30 experience per battle. But, it's, I must have been, I must have been seeing something, because that can't be right. Anyways, uh, level 14 is pretty good. If you manage to grind up to level 15, which you probably won't, or you might in this upcoming area, great. Um, yeah, 14 or 15 should be good. 13 would also probably be good. Uh, you could also do this grinding in the next area coming up here, the uh, screen that we went to last time, and it would be just the same as what I did. I just did it all off screen. That way I could have it all done and out of the way. But the one thing, the the ones that you want to make sure that you have learned on Kaim and Seth are what is it? Uh, anti poison because that'll be important. And you also want to have stand ready and guard heal. Those will also be really helpful. And you know what? I might as well just go ahead and give you stand ready right there. And you know what? I'm not going to use white magic outside of battle really, so I'll give you the guard heal too. And also, uh, level, I think it was level 13, Jensen learned factual analysis, so that means you don't have to waste a slot on your other characters, so that's nice. Alright, let's go ahead and, actually, you know what, i got a few rings I can make here. Uh, yeah, we have enough magma fragments to make more rings, We've got, we just got those fragments in the area, so might as well make a second one, so that's awesome. Let's see, and quality iron sand, I got a few of those when I was fighting. So there we go. We could make an earth ring ultra if we had frontier siderite, but we don't. I could make another bruiser ring, but we got two already, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. 
Yeah, we can't make a Bruiser Ring Ultimate. So, oh well. Let's see. So yeah, pretty much try to get to level 14 before the end of the area, and I'll let you know when that is. But if not, well, 13 should be good, but 14 would just be a nice, safe spot. And if you can get up to level 15, awesome. Now, the enemies in this area are pretty much exactly the, the uh, same as the er enemies in the last area. So I'm going to go ahead and pretty much cut out all these battles. We'll just look for all the items here. There's a pretty fair amount of items for us to get. Now, can I get down to that tree? I can't, I can't remember if I can. Ah, there we go. Alright, so let's try for this tree again here. Hey, more magma fragments. Awesome. So we can make a, a third flame ring if we wanted to. But I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and grab... So can I do anything with this? No, I cannot. Okay, let's go ahead and get down there and grab that tree then. Another seed, awesome. Yeah, a lot of times people will get confused between seeds and slot seeds because, well, they're both seeds. But just remember that slot seeds, well, are slots, and regular seeds are not. But yeah, they probably should. They probably could have chosen a better name for one of the two at least. Now, can I get anything from you? I cannot. Now, is there anything over here? There is, but actually, you know what? Let's, uh. Actually, is that where I'm trying to go? I can't remember. That probably is where we're trying to go. But you know what? Let's continue on out. Hang on a second, let me find out. I'm not sure if that is the hutch or not. Let's see if we can't see it on the map here. Yeah, well, let's just continue on down here for a little bit. And then if it is, we'll go back to it. Okay, looks like it is, actually. Alright, that means we got to find all these other items here. Let's see, let's go down here. Grab the tree. If I can, that'd be great. You want to... Jam it there, fella? No? Okay, I guess you don't want to deal with that tree. Alright, whetstones. Fantastic. I'll take it. Ah, here's the other trees. Yeah, you know what? I'll show this battle on screen. We'll try out that prison spell. Why not? not See how well it does. You should be able to kill all these guys. Let's see. Prism 15. Uh, this does take two turns to go off, though, so that's not mildly unfortunate, but I will wait. By the way, if you run into a group with uh, more than, uh, I think it's a total of three kilowatts, they can do a combination attack that uh, does a little more damage than just a regular attack. It's not really super powerful that you got to worry about, but it is there. Feel free to get a nice, powerful spell going on here. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. Of course, we're probably going to just kill him in uh, two hits anyways with uh, with our physical attacks, but yeah, well. Alright, let's grab this tree. We've got another seed. Some more pots here to worry about. Flare bomb, that's nice. Barricade, that's uh, that's another uh, white magic spell that reduces uh, physical damage. That's really nice. So, yeah, it gives a nice little uh, defensive buff right there, so that'll be helpful. Right, now let's see, we got a few more things to grab here. Did we already get this one? I think I did. Okay, we did. All right, so there should be just a few more here. Uh, where are these other trees that I'm looking for? I know they're around here somewhere. I just gotta find the damn bastards. Uh, 
Yeah, all right. They're not in the rock, that's for sure. Actually, uh, let's see. Let's see, we have 16 seeds. I think we should have, let's see, like 17 or 18 by now. So we got that, we got that, we got that. Terrible experience for this level. Let's see, I just gotta find these last couple items here. Did I get this one? Okay, I got that. No, okay, that was one of the ones I didn't get. Okay, windsail leaves, that's nice. Um, okay, that actually is everything here then. Alright, so let's go ahead and just uh, head to the hut then. Because that's what that little building off to the side is. It's a hut. And that is our destination here. Hey, uh, I want to ask a favor. I'm just going to ask this once, okay? Will you listen? <sighs> all right, already. What do you want? Ah, uh, whining, okay. Is that all you can say? Can't we just rest in that hut over there? All you do is complain, complain, complain. I'm not like you two, I'm a normal human being. <sighs> what should we do? All right, let's rest. Thank you. All right, so we're getting a nice little uh, rest up area here. Also, if you want to, um, you can just walk back to the uh, main road and go back to Ura and rest up at the inn there. You don't have to, but the inn there is only 50 gold, and, well, you should have more than enough money by now. Let's see, there should be a few things here in the hut for us to grab, so let's grab this. Seed, awesome. Let's see. There should be... Pot, great. Antidote, fantastic. Let's see, there should be a few more items here. Let's see, where are the other pots around here? So there's a save point if you need it. I'm not too worried about it. Ah, there's the other pot. Power drink. That'll raise your uh, physical attack damage in battle, so that's really nice. Actually, it might also raise your magic attack power, too, but I'm not really sure. I know I always use it on the physical characters, though. Okay, that's just physical attack. Okay. Alright, now let's see if we can't... Where is it? How you doing over here? Yeah, we'll take a nap in a little bit. There is something I want to find. I think we have to go to the second floor to get it, though. Actually, where is it? Uh... That was odd. Ah, search glasses. Awesome. Yeah, that little uh, thing that we touched right there, it was a little candle. When you light that up, that reveals the location of those search glasses in the uh, dresser right there. And search glasses are kind of like the factual analysis skill, except I think they show HP instead of, uh, yeah, they show HP instead of the types and stuff like that. So that's not too bad. I'll, I'll put that on time for right now. By the way, let's go ahead and, yeah, okay, you already have the antidote roots. That's fine. And you've got everything mastered, so we're good to go there. Now there's one more light that we can find here. It's either upstairs or over here. Let's see. Do I want to save yet? No. Okay, I guess the uh, other one with the other light is upstairs, because I can't find it down here. Why there's a random hut out in the middle of the forest here, I have no idea. Giant monster. That's not very fun. 
Actually, it's been the same nice sunny weather up here ever since we started, so I'm not too worried about that either. Huh. I haven't heard anything roaring, but yeah, that's just me. Okay, I guess they didn't want to take care of the monster of Ypsilon, so sucks for them, I guess. I guess we'll have to be the ones to find it and take care of it. Alright, so here's the other light that we're looking for. There we go. And under the bed, we get shield spell. So I think that's the magic equivalent of barricade, I think. Okay, yeah, no. Barricade is a magic, and shield is a physical. There we go. Yeah. I'll remember them as we go on, but uh, we're not going to have a use for Barricade coming up, but Shield will be useful in the upcoming boss fight, so that's nice. And that's everything in the hut here. So let's go ahead and talk to Jansen and rest up and get out of here. Sure, let's rest up. Why not? Do we need to save? Eh, I don't think so. Listen, if either Kaim or Seth seem like they're starting to regain even a fragment of their memories, use this. What is it? Uh, oh, hi. I couldn't sleep. I'm... Usually exercising, you know, sparring with people, and that'd be, I work out a lot before I... Was that all? W was what, what all? About what? You know I mean, what I mean. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? Hmm. Alright, got a nice little rest there, even though uh, Jansen is a little bastard for the green to try to erase our memories, but we don't know anything about that, so let's get out of here. Alright, nice and healed up, I like it, I'll take it. And let's just uh, dash out here. Now let's see, if you need to save up, go ahead, but I'm not going to bother. Let's see, that's the door, back to where we came from, but we want to go past Seth over here, so let's do that. Alright, off to the peak. And just like any other area, you can come back here later if you need to. I'm not too terribly worried about it. Now, I think the enemies in this area are pretty much the, the same as the ones from the last area. So again, no need to worry about trying to trying to find anything. Or, not find anything. Uh... I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Basically, this is as good an area to grind as anywhere else. Alright, these little rock piles have our items here. Mana herb, nice. Let's see, there should be two more, but they're kind of further up here. The air feels humid. Well, it's not going to rain. I know the weather. I have a sense about these things. And the sun's going to break through any second, and you'll be peeling off the clothes. Trust me. Oh, great. It's raining. What'd I say? It's gonna rain. I knew it. Man.
You're dismissed. Oh, Lord Gungora, please wait. Pardon the intrusion. Oh! Gungora, what are you doing? A moment, please. What is going on, Gongora? Answer me! The Council has placed you under house arrest! Behold. who do not wish the monarchy restored to power. But I... I do not wish it to be restored to power. With all due respect, uh, while some fools completely support our current republic, there are also those who long to restore a powerful monarchy. Regardless of what your highness may desire, our country struggles with two political forces, the past and the present. You must be aware of this. Fortunately, I was able to sense your danger through magic energy. Even though I am under house arrest, I could not allow you to be harmed. There are many ways I can secretly move from my manor to yours, your highness. But if Roxian knew you had been out of your home, you would be subject to even tighter restrictions. I can look after myself. I, however, cannot. Had you not come, I would have ended up like... like that mouse. You can always rely on me, Your Highness. Thank you, Gongola. Thank you. Okay, being poisoned while you're eating is bad enough, but being poisoned and getting turned into a little bulbous monster thing that bursts into flame five seconds later, that's not the way I want to go. And you could pretty much tell that uh, Gungora was behind it just because he's a shady little bastard. See, I don't think we can... I, yeah, I don't think we can run or walk too fast in this rain, unfortunately. Actually, before we get too far, let me do something real fast. Let me go up to my skills and let's uh, get rid of uh, steel and put on white magic right there. So I'm not going to need that. Uh, and for you, let's go ahead and give you the anti-poison and guard heal. Yeah, guard heal and stand ready will be useful for this fight. Make sure you have both of those on your mortal, and Jansen is equipped with the anti-poison. We'll, we'll get to the fight in just a minute here, but we got a little more to go through. Huh. Not too smart, eh? See, is this going to be anybody new? I don't think I don't think there's anybody new up here. And unfortunately, we don't got to worry about uh, what is it? Uh, the rain screwing us over, or anything like that. And you know, you just defend Jansen there. Oh, you're in the back row. Oops. I messed up. I thought you guys were in the front row. But that's a pretty good example of how enemy guard condition will screw you over if you're not paying attention there. 
Alright, so you can survive. I did a lot more damage to you than I did to... Oh, you're in the front row, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so... Seth, you target... Or Kai, you target him. Seth, you target the one in the front. And Jansen, you just go ahead and defend. And let's see. I think Seth can take Thicorn out, so we should be able to take him out with Kaim. And if we can't, well, we'll just uh, get a little extra damage with Jans in there. Okay, just enough. Another whetstone, awesome. But we don't need to make another whetstone or another uh, bruiser ring, so we should be good. And I'll heal up in a few minutes here. Hey, we get a dream. Nice. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save this for after uh, the boss fight and stuff. But I will show it off at the end of the episode. Alright, in the meantime, let's continue on our little path through the freezing sleep here. Actually, would this be sleep? I think so. Sleep is rain, right? And then hail is... Or... I don't know if sleep can apply to snow. I have no idea, actually. Alright, there are two more items for us to find here if we can ever get past all this rain. I don't think it's the best choice. Alrighty, Kime and Seth both managed to grab a, another level after that, and Jansen's only 10 points away from his next level, so I guess 15 is uh, acceptable for the boss here, or doable at least. Let's see, we got. Healing medicine, awesome. And there's our last rock pile, and then we're pretty much at the boss. Ah, there we go. Now we can get out of the rain. Get this plume, nice. We might need that for the boss, but I'm not really counting on it. Uh, yeah, I said I'm just gonna let you stay at level 14. I'm not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and use some healing medicines here. Let's see, go for you. And we don't need any mana, so we're good to go. Alright, just make sure your skills are all set up. And let's get for the boss. Okay, I thought it was. Well, there it is. Okay.
don't remember. Ooh, deja vu. Or maybe your memory's coming back. No, no, no. Maybe what you've forgotten you're remembering. What? Well, excuse me for helping. You are such a pain. Okay, fine. Look at the view. I'm gonna go ahead and fix everything. You just talk amongst yourselves. You really seen this before? What do you mean by that? Just what I said. Do you feel like you've seen this before? What's with you? Just trying to be a friend. Don't look at me like that again. But I thought you... <sighs> Forget it. Hey, hey, hey. All right, come on, you two. I thought we were in a rush. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck is that? Alright, we got our first major boss fight of the game, Grilgan, and he can actually be pretty dang tough for a first boss. Uh, let's see, make sure you have, let's see, uh, flame rings on both of your, both of your attackers here. Let's see, Bruiser, you should have enough mag, uh, magma fragments to make two, and let's see, who has the spells here besides you? Let's go ahead and cast Shield. On our front two party members here, okay, you don't have it, so let's just go ahead and have you defend for the first turn, and you go ahead and cast shield on Seth. There we go. Now the reason why you want ant antidote here is because this guy has a poison claw ability that will poison you if you well, are predicted against it, and that'll just add up. You'll have to constantly be curing the damn thing. He also does have a few area of effect attacks you've got to watch out for. Let's see, let's go ahead and defend with uh, our two party members, our two immortals here, to keep our guard condition high. And he is weak to fire, so let's just go ahead and have uh, Jansen just well, flame him to that. We will get some uh, attacks in with Seth the Time, but for now, let's just go ahead and do this. But yeah, this guy can actually be pretty challenging if you don't have uh, antidotes or flame rings or anything like that. Let's go to defend one more. You get, they'll get in. They'll get in on the uh, fighting eventually here. But for now, let's just have them uh, keep the guard condition high. That way, if he does decide to attack Jason, we're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and go for an attack here. Yeah, let's just go out for right now. He's not doing any of his uh, major attacks like his. Attack everybody attacks, so we're doing good so far. But if he does, you're probably gonna want to defend and heal. Yeah, we're actually pretty good here. Let's see. Again, again, and again. If you want to steal from him, he has a slot seed, but he's gonna drop it after the battle if you don't steal it anyways, so I don't really see the point. And if you do steal it, I don't think he drops it, so I don't really see any reason to waste time trying to steal it. Let's see, how was your... Oh, we can finish off. Okay, this guy actually did a pretty good job of not actually using his uh, powerful attacks on me, so that works out pretty good. I had a much easier time with this than I thought I would. I mean, he's given me problems before, but I guess he's just a uh, little easy on me today. There's this poison claw that you gotta watch out for right there. But well, he was nice enough to be gentle with me today, so I'll take it. Well, have you fallen for me yet? There we go. Got another level up for you. Awesome, I'll take it. And status analysis for time. Beautiful. It'd be an improvement if you got eaten a little. You'd talk less. <sighs> hurry up. I thought we were in a hurry. Alright. 
that worked out pretty good for our first boss fight. We managed to kill him pretty fast, actually. And we're going to go ahead and watch our dream in the next episode. We'll continue on the path to Grand Staff. Uh, probably won't make it there right away, but we'll continue on our path to get there. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.